Hey everyone, welcome to day one of the Digital Health Summit here in San Diego. The Summer Summit's an amazing event. We have uh, Dr. Anand Iyer, who's uh, the president and CEO of WellDoc. Good morning, Tim. How are you? Good, good. So we had a great time with uh, lunch and you guys last night. I really appreciate taking the time to mentor our interns here. Pleasure. And um, so the first session was from a sugar rush to digital health high. And what was going on inside? Well, it's, it's amazing. I think Jill looked at that title and she kind of looked at my own history as a diabetes patient. And, you know, I'm a wireless guy. I've been in the wireless industry for so yeah. many years. And back in 2002, I developed type 2 diabetes myself. Yeah. Uh, and then I uh, met up with a company, WellDoc, uh, that was actually founded by an endocrinologist in uh, Baltimore. And it was really born from her clinical frustration that, you know, uh, she was working up at the Jocelyn Center yeah. at University of Maryland, arguably one of the finest diabetes centers in the world. And uh, she was frustrated. She was frustrated that she had everything at her side, but she couldn't make a difference in outcomes. But she also noticed, and this is back in 2005 before the iPhone existed, before the word app existed in the English language, that everybody had a cell phone. And she asked a very simple question, that could the cell phone actually help, not just capture data, could it convert the data into information, knowledge, actions for the patient, and then outcomes for the health system? And that's really how we got started with this. And, and uh, Jill aptly picked the title because it kind of started with this high yeah. sugar, but it's ended up at this digital health high, which is amazing. And that's what's interesting is we were speaking with Chris um, yesterday about how you, your, your team was really form, formed with the health side, the health care side, and especially wireless technology. Um, tell me about the announcement today. Yeah, it's a great announcement. Um, uh, today, we're announcing formally the launch of our Blue Star product, mm -hmm. which is a mobile prescription therapy, uh, MPT. Uh, it's like the first of its kind, right? First of its kind. Uh, think about it. In the past, a doctor has only been able to prescribe three things. Uh, a drug, yeah. a device, or a, 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 th a therapy like surgery. And now for the first time in history, they can actually prescribe software uh, and get remunerated from the health system and actually fits into the... We always talk about disruptive models. Yeah. Disruptive models should always disrupt the outcome yeah. without turning people's lives upside down. And if you can do that, then you win. So in... in it takes a while to get this path set up. What was the path to get there? I know you guys uh, took a careful path to get there, and we were talking about the cake and the icing. Yeah, no, it's a great question, uh, Tim. I think that it has to start with, first and foremost, evidence and outcomes. Can you show that your innovation, your disruption, actually helps both the numerator, which is health outcomes, and the denominator, which is costs? And if you can do that not once, twice, but many times, in different populations because you know it's funny you know you can send man to the moon once and everybody believes it but a clinical trial that oh you did it in baltimore well, try it in texas right it's yeah. that's just a mentality and that's okay because these things are important they're important uh, from a patient safety standpoint so first thing you need evidence the second thing you need to do is you need to ensure that patient safety and for us that meant getting the proper fda clearances mm -hmm. uh, and so that's a journey in and of itself and keep in mind when we started this we didn't know anything about the fda they didn't know anything about us and then I think beyond that, it's then how do you then build the operating model? How do you get it into patients' hands? If it's a prescription, then how yeah. do they get it? How do they fill it? Yeah. How do they get trained on using it? You know, how is it adjudicated? And if you can make that as similar to the process that they get a regular prescription today, then you win. And that's kind of what the, it's the icing on the cake, as, as you said. I think in many ways, it's the last uh, tactical mile of this journey. And now our work is very clear. Now we got to continue to advocate for physicians. We got to continue to advocate for patients and, and show to self-insured employers and to health plans that this is creating tangible economic value and have doctors write prescriptions for this. And it's really kind of the spear in this next wave with all, all these new smartphone devices. And so there has to be something that really breaks the ice. Uh, what does the future look like in two years from now? Oh, I think it's a couple of things. Yeah. I think it's, the spear analogy is a good one because it does break the ice. But what it does is by breaking the ice, it kind of has this pull effect through. And it starts to pull the other things that are in tow behind. And these things can be things like sensors. You know, imagine if a world where you didn't have to enter your blood glucose and you could have like a, a sensor that you didn't have to poke a hole in your finger for. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. So if you could do things like that and get that data automatedly entered into the system, you win and it makes it easy for the patient. You know, if you, if you can you know, use the pedometer in their uh, cell phone to capture kind of how many steps they've taken. And you can do that today with all these, you know, Fitbit-like applications. Yeah. If you can feed that data in, it's one thing less the patient has to enter. So I think there's all this sensor integration. There's obviously new diseases that this can be applicable to. It's not just diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. This can be working for any chronic disease. And then I think we always talk about big data. Yeah. Think about the type of data we're collecting for the first time. Yeah. Today, no hospital or health system has any data other than when I go there. 
Yeah. Now all of a sudden I'm unleashing this huge amount of data. Think of what I can do and what I can mine and I can use that to customize and tailor and guide patients in the journey they want to take. And I think that's an important, we'll see that evolving, I think so in the future, that the value of the data may far exceed the value of the application itself. Interesting. So uh, we're talking about big data, mobile. Um, what types of folks are you trying to connect with here at the event and out in the world that can you know, tie in with your business and create new business opportunities? I, I think this conference, uh, Digital Health, is all about the uh, folks who are coming at this with new innovative technologies. Uh, but over the years, as you've probably noticed, Tim, is this conference has now attracted the other ecosystem stakeholders. So you have f folks like United Health Group, actually a sponsor of this. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, United, of course, they're, they're huge and their presence is huge and they're, and they're seen as an innovator. Yeah, and I th doing really innovative stuff. Yeah, and I think, that, and I think what, what these types of forums allow us to do is bring the right people in the ecosystem. I think as we continue to move forward, we'll start to see the regulators here. I think we'll see policymakers here. Yeah. And so that's really when, and we're close, it's happening in some forms. I think it's the next step for CES that how do you take all of this success and all of this momentum that Jill and her team have put into this and just take it to the next level by now expanding it out, where now you're getting the entire industry to rally around these solutions because they know you're not turning a doctor's life upside down. You're not turning a payment structure upside down. You're fitting into it, but you're delivering value two to three to four times better than drugs alone, which is very cool. Yeah, preventative. All right, well, hey, thanks so much for your time. Very excited for you. Check out um, your website. Yeah, absolutely, welldoc.com, uh, and, and yeah, have at it. Okay, well, thanks a lot. This is uh, Tim Ria here with Digital Health Live in San Diego. Cheers. Thanks, yeah.